Rendezvous is an open-source progressive framework that is designed for the implementation of user interfaces. Vuages is used for web application developers, in creating more dynamic interactive content you deliver to your web users. It integration into projects that use other JavaScript libraries is made easy with Vue because it is designed to be incrementally adoptable. Vue can also function as a web application framework capable of powering advanced single-page applications. Compared with React's steeper JSX, JavaScript plus HTML files, learning curve, Vue uses HTML-based templates and single-file components that let developers author actual CSS with support for CSS modules and preprocessors, too. The benefit of doing this outside of JavaScript libraries is less complexity and, again, a smaller build size. These days, every new framework, Rivet.js, Reactive.js, Angular.js, Knockout.js, React.js, Ember.js, and now Vue.js, seems to be incorporating a virtual DOM. VU was created by Evan in 2014. VU was originally released in February 2014. What is VU.js? VU.js is a JavaScript library for building web interfaces. VU, it pronounced VU, is a progressive framework for building user interfaces. VU.js is extremely easy. Unlike other monolithic frameworks, React or Angular, Vue is designed from the ground up to be incrementally adoptable. The core library is focused on the Vue layer only, and is easy to pick up and integrate with other libraries or existing projects. On the other hand, Vue is also perfectly capable of powering sophisticated single-page applications when used in combination with modern tooling and supporting libraries. It also supports the MVVM, Model View View Model, pattern. Why Vue.js? Vu is very simple, it features a lot of concepts from Angular 1 and React. You can use it without any build system just included into HTML file. But React is bigger and a little more complex. Vu 2.0 supports server-side rendering, helping you with SEO, and makes your site viewable by people with JavaScript disabled. Vue.js has a huge set of followers and it's easier for beginners to adopt. You can use it with or without jQuery. You won't need to install any plugins, though many are available. And it has proven track record of success with Laravel. The goal of Vue.js is to provide the benefits of reactive data binding and composable Vue components with an API that is as simple as possible. What is Vue Resource? The plugin for Vue.js all the HTTPS provides services for making, get or post method web requests and handle all the success or error responses using an XML HTTP request or JSMP data using Vue Edge. Installation, $npm install Vue resource or $yarn add Vue resource. It supports the Promise API and URI templates. It supports interceptors for request and response. What are the basic features of Vue.js? Basic features of Vue.js are Component-oriented development style. It is easy for web developers. Lean and extensive core. Flexible transition effect system. What are components in Vue.js? In Vue.js, components are one of the most powerful features of Vue. They help you extend basic HTML elements to encapsulate reusable code. At a high level. Components are custom elements that Vue's compiler attaches behavior to. In some cases, they may also appear as a native HTML element extended with the special as attribute. All Vue components are also Vue instances, and so accept the same options object, except for a few root specific options, and provide the same lifecycle hooks. Following is the way to register a Vue component inside other component. Export default. L. Hash your element. Components. Your component. How to create a custom filter in Vue.js. Vue.filter method is used to create and register a custom filter in Vue.js. Vue.filter method takes two parameters a filter that is unique name to filter that you're going to create and a filter function that takes a value as the argument and returns the transformed value. Vue.filter reverse 
function value return value dot split reverse join usage what are vue.js directives directives are instruction for vue.js to do things in a certain way there are different types of directives in vue.js reactive directives literal directives empty directives v text v transition v pre v html v ref v cloak v show vl v class v intro v style v on v model v if v repeat what are the global api values using vu age vu dot extend options vu dot next tick call back vu dot next tick call back vu dot element directive id definition vu filter id definition vu component id definition vu transition id definition vu partial id partial vu use plugin args vu dot mixin mixin vu dot util how to create how to create two way bindings in vu dot js v model directive is used to create two way bindings in vu dot js dot in two way bindings data or model is bind with dom and dom is binded back to model in below example you can see how two way bindings is implemented div it equals app message input v model equals message slash div script type equals text javascript var message equals vu dot js is rad new vu l hash app data message slash script how to creating a vu instance in vu dot js every vu application starts by creating a new vu instance with the vu function var vm equals new vu slash slash options how to use ternary in vu js div class equals class 1 v bind class equals class 2 variable slash div what is vu.js 2.0 the vu.js 2 is similar to react js and angular in some ways there are some key features that will help us to start easily that is directives components template and jsx routing vu 2.0 one of the fastest frameworks out there in addition it requires minimal effort in terms of optimization because Vue's reactivity system is able to precisely determine components that need to be re-rendered in a large and complex component tree. What are the differences and similarities in React and Vue.js? The Vue virtual DOM rendering is so faster than that of React J's virtual DOM rendering. The Vue components dependencies are automatically rendered but React J's avoid unnecessary re-rendering so we can manually implement. The Vue 2 app size is smaller than React J's and Angular. React and Vue.js are utilize a virtual DOM. React and Vue.js are provide a compatible view components. React and Vue.js are handling state, routing, network requests and so on. What is the differences between one-way data flow and two-way data binding in Vue.js? In one-way data flow the view, UI, part of application does not update automatically when data model is changed. We need to write some custom code to make it updated every time a data model is changed. In Vue.js vBind is used for one-way data flow or binding. In two-way data binding the view, UI, Part of application automatically updates when data model is changed. In Vue.js v model directive is used for two-way data binding. What is Vue 2 lifecycle? Before create, this is called synchronously after the Vue.js instance has just been initialized. Created, this is called synchronously after the Vue.js instance is created. Before mount, this is called right before the component is mounted. Activated. This is called when a kept alive component is deactivated. 
before destroy, this is called right before avuja is instantiated. Destroyed, this is called after avuja's instance has been destroyed. What are the pros and cons of vu.js? Pros of vu.js vu.js is a very small size. It is flexibility. Vue.js is useful both for building entire single-page applications and for contributing components into existing apps. It is easy to understand and develop applications. It enables development of large-scale templates. Vue.js has a very thorough and well-written documentation, especially for beginners. Facilitates two-way communication. Cons of Vue.js It is a closed community development. Unlike other frameworks, Vu doesn't yet have the widespread support of its fellow frameworks as it is not as popular as React or Angular 2 or 4. Language Barrier A majority of the users are non-English speaking communities which are perhaps one of the biggest issues with this framework. Being too flexible can be problematic, like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.